the name of the story is. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. It's really funny. Are you ready? It is going to be a funny one. All right, are you ready? I have to get my glasses. Whoops. Here we go. Here we go. Now we are set. Okay. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear it's clear. Oh dear, you better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong, and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail, tumbling and bumbling. Your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't. I thought you would catch on. You ready? No, no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees. The branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away, we didn't get back until the next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours. The last time you sneezed, even a cough would knock some of it off. Oh, please don't sneeze! With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. The elephant says he's going to sneeze! Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd get back together. Every parakeet was as bare as a sheep, from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock's tails, and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess. Very confusing and not too amusing. Even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please, please don't, don't sneeze. Fly, fly, called the birds to the bees. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze. Not a sneeze. The last time he blew up our stings, and as well as our wings, and we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock, we all had to walk on our knees, if you please, and that's hard on bees' knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin, oh please, don't, don't says he's going to sneeze. Ah, oh, please, not a sneeze, cried the bear. That's not fair, I declare. The last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair. He spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe don't laugh bent in half, and the crocodile's snout turned inside out. The last time a sneezed, even a sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze, oh please, don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while? Asked the crocodile 
with a sad little smile. Oh my, do you charge me? Is that the fly? We wish, said the fish, you would if you could. The last time you blew off all our scales, from our heads to our tails, and our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin, if you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please, don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, yapes, you'll blow off my stripes. Plus lots and lots of the leopard spots and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, a lot of us will fall right on our bottoms <laughs> if you sneeze. So please don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. All about all of this I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have a, a twitch um, in my trunk and a, ooh, an itch, plus a bit of a tickle, uh, and even a prickle. You must fl run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah! Uh, 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 boom! <laughs> Jump! Shouted a little gray mouse, jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his tiptoes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek! Shouted the elephant, jumping in the air. That's a mouse! That's a mouse standing there. I must hide in a tree before he gets me or jump in a lake. For goodness sake, don't scare me. Please spare me. The little mouse laughed. Oh, Pooh. Now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you. I only wanted to give you a scare. And it worked. As sure as you're standing there, elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know, cried the elephant. That is so, it's astounding, confounding. As I live and breathe, I don't think I really have to sneeze. And he began to giggle. <laughs> That's the funniest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho hoed and ha ha. He chortled and, and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and he rolled from side to side. In fact, that elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking. And all of the trees were quivering and quaking. And the monkeys came tumbling out of the trees. And the stings fell off every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where. And all of the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half. And the crocodile's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yipes, there goes my stripes. While the hippo went thump right on his plunk, you know what. And into a puddle, the mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and he shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad if you don't have to sneeze. But if you must laugh, laugh softly, oh elephant, 
please. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. It was one of my favorites. So, could you tell me what your favorite part of the story was and why it was?